All right, thank you for stopping in. And today I just wanted to talk a little bit about the power of Heru. Like we know Heru is one of the more powerful of the comedic nectars or the Egyptian gods, you know, for some of you as you identify him that way. And this guy has massive powers. Remember that he ultimately goes head to head with Set in several battles. And Set is really considered one of the most powerful or the baddest. Like he was an unstoppable force. You know, remember in the uh, mythology of Heru's conception, how Aset and Nephthys had to combine all their magic to stop Set, right? And, and they weren't able to do it. And, you know, uh, 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 Set stood before um, both uh, Anu uh, Anubis or Anpu as well as Jehudi. And both of them just gave him a pass. Like, it, he was like, look, if you want to come to Fisticuffs, Let's go. And neither one of them wanted what said. That's how powerful he was. So that tells you more about Heru and how powerful, how much power he actually commands. Now, Heru has mastery over two very important forces that primarily make up his skill set. One is he has solar power. So he taps into the whole solar power set, very similar to Ra, obviously on a lesser level, but very similar like a segment, right? Her ability to command, you know, the, the solar power, the solar fire, right soul power like control over the soul as well he's very very powerful from that and then he also has a component where he can control chaos energy which is very very important and probably how he was able to really go toe to toe with set because you've got mastery over these abilities so among that we see him with a lot of abilities to create projections to create constructs um he's got tele telekinetic ability so he can move objects simply with the strength of his mind and of course he has this divine physiology being um you know born of Aset's body which is a primary vessel for magic he was implemented he was blessed with a divine physiology so he has great resilience to any type of mortal wounds or diseases so he's almost immune to any disease which is important if you're ever coming up against uh, a god or deity who who possesses those type of, of abilities like uh, itonda who might use like a disease god a pestilence god He's going to have automatic immunity to that. And he also has this relentless stamina. He's able to recharge himself probably through his solar powers. So, you know, he would fight set for days on end. These, twos would, these two would go at it. So he has a number of, you know, extra special powers from his both of his parents. So again, solar power, combining that with control of chaotic energy. And then his other, you know, natural abilities as a netter having a degree of telekinesis, also that physical durability, physiology, and the ability to kind of keep himself uh, regenerated. He also wills a very powerful weapon, which I've talked about as well, which is the Mace of Heru. And with that weapon, which is crafted by Ptah himself, this also enhances his ability to will cosmic energy. So Heru on a lot of levels, he's right there with any warrior. I mean, I've always ranked this guy near the top, just below the, you know, the, the supreme powers. But again, a very powerful deity who we want to know more and more about. But his role, his his what he put on paper, his you know going toe to toe with Set in extensive extensive fights. I think three or four fights that they had, and they were essentially a draw. He wounded Set. Set wounded him. Ultimately, it was a vote that got him in to power. But still, we got to see what type of power and skill set he actually had as a fighter. He is supremely trained and possessed of great power. So, just a deed I want to drop a little bit more information about the powers of Heru.